Okay, good morning guys. Today morning. I'm going to tell you a personal story. It's personal but you might feel identified with this because it's kind of general and when I talk about this with um, people, my friends and everything, they feel identified too. So when I was like maybe 10 years old, old more or less, uh, I loved watching movies. Now I don't because I don't have a lot of time. I'm very occupied. Right? <laughs> um, and I watched uh, every kind of movie with my cousins, my friends, my brother, my parents, etc. And we will always wanted to have like an interesting life, like in the movies. We wanted to have some drama in our lives. I don't know, receive a letter from Howard or have a love story, things like that. We were all, I mean, we were just 10 years old, but anyway, we were kids, so we were just going crazy with that thought. And yeah, actually we tried to imitate some things about the movies, like those, the popular group of girls having a book and writing things about everyone in the school. I did that with my friends. Uh, but our lives were never that interesting. We were just like normal kids playing and you know, the books always then disappeared and we forgot about it. So by the time passed, I realized that there were things I could do to make my life more interesting and to be more interesting. So today, I'm going to talk about how to be an interesting person. So I will talk to you about three main points. There are more points, but you will discover them if you like do this, because these ones are the basic. So first I will talk about uh, some education you need to have, uh, about taking risks, it's very important to be interesting, and have an open mind. So let's go with the first one. By education, I don't mean like going to do a good or great school or university, having great marks, like being super, super intelligent. I just, by education, I mean just read about everything. Even though there are topics you don't like, for example, I don't like reading science fiction, but I read like short books about it because I think it's important to read about everything and be informed about everything. History, maths, etc. Then ask. You can ask about everything, and it's, I think it's pretty, um, I don't know, like, interesting to ask, like, the same question, even if it's stupid, to different persons, because, different people, because they will, uh, we are all different, so we will always have different answers for the same question, and that's very interesting. And you will learn, if you ask, you will learn different th things from different people. And finally, explore about everything and however you can explore. You can explore by traveling, I don't know. So if you do these things, you will like know, have a bigger knowledge and you will know maybe sometimes weird facts. But I think weird facts are, like this, those random facts, are so interesting and I like when people tell me about it. So for example, about kissing. I don't know if you know, but you know the French kiss? Okay, did you know that here in a French kiss you can move 29 muscles in your face? <laughs> I didn't know that. I just discovered when I was researching about it. <laughs> or for example, that one minute of a passionate kiss burns 6.4 calories. Oh. <laughs> you could use this as a flirting with girls, maybe, if you want to kiss a girl on the bar, whatever. Or that the longest kiss lasts 33 hours. What? <laughs> yeah, that's really important. Maybe it's not very important, but it's weird and weird things are interesting. <laughs> so knowing random facts, I think, is a good thing. So yeah, by education, education I don't mean having great marks or going to schools. I'm not saying, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that it's not important, but there are other, other things you can do to be interesting. Then take risks. I think take Taking risks and willing to take risks is so, so important. You don't have to be afraid to say yes to new opportunities. You have to be able to get out of your comfort zone and appreciate the different things. If some, something is different, it doesn't mean that it's not good. Because you, you never know if you never try. And here is a quote. 
If you win, you will be happy. If you lose, you will be wise. Do you know what means wise? Like a guru. <laughs> it's sad because I don't know who wrote this, but I really, really like this quote. So yeah, taking this is so important. And finally, have an open mind. Uh, open mind, but that I mean respect others' ideas. And for example, I'm have like my ideas so strongly. Define. Sorry. Define. Yeah, define. So um, a lot of times I'm, I don't agree with other people, but then it's interesting because we start a debate. And I learn a lot of things when I debate with people about every topic because they know things I don't, and then I teach them about things they don't know, but I do. And if you do this, you will have more opportunities to uh, other kind of conversation. So yeah, open mind. For example, they say Canada is um, more open-minded than United States, and I'm here, so I think Canada is more interesting than United States. That's why I chose. So yeah, now today I talked about how to be interesting. I mentioned the education, the spreading of having great maths, and asked more, taking risks, and the importance of taking risks, risks. and the open mind. So, okay, now you know how to be interesting. Just the basic steps, because I'm sure that if you start doing this, you will notice more things you can do to be interesting, because you will meet more interesting people. Uh, why you should be interesting? There are a lot of reasons why, some obvious reasons, but for me the most important reason is that nothing compares to a beautiful conversation with a beautiful mind. And I think that these guys is the start of falling in love with someone. And falling in love not just like with a person to have a relationship, because with friends and all that kind of thing. 